All right, everybody. Uh, this is a CGC unboxing of 25. What I have over here is I have a box of 25. Uh, so what I did was uh, I sent some books to uh, Sean, a.k.a. Big Lake, and he pressed them for me. And then uh, I sent him like 33 books. And at the time, I uh, told him that I sent him like 33. And I said, hey, pick the best 25 to find out what we need to do. And then at the um, at the 25, I told him, just send them in. I don't want to know what they are. Um, I haven't looked at the grades. I literally don't even know what's in this box. So it's uh, it's going to be a pretty uh, revealing video. And what's going to happen is we're going to check it out, and we're going to find out what we got. So without further ado, I'll show people so I actually got it ripped, and we're going to find out what's in here. So it's a big day. So 25 books um, on moderns. Uh, uh, fast tracks uh, it came in like I think we did it like beginning of February uh, they just got back like a week ago I know it's crazy that I sat there for a week and didn't um, open it yet so I've been trying to find the, the right time to do it so what we're going to do is open the books and we're going to see what's in here so without further ado we're going to open it up so big unboxing CGC and we're going to find out so hopefully I can pull them in the right direction. Let's pull them right here. So I don't know what this book is. So I'm going to take it out of the thing. I'm not even going to look at it. I'm going to cover the grade. Um, here we go. So let's make sure we got the right thing. Yep. Look at this. This is New Avengers uh, 26. This is uh, see what this, 9 8. Look at that. Beautiful. What a beautiful book. Scarlet Witch. Uh, came in a little late from Scarlet Witch and Vision, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll definitely take that. So I'm gonna put this aside. Uh, really good, really nice grade. Uh, I don't, I can't remember, I can't remember where I copped this at, but uh, really good grade there. Nine eight. Super stoked for that one. So uh, let's see. What I'm here. So, uh, let's put them back in the bag in case we scratch them. Don't scratch them. So. So we're making a bag, put them over here to you see some next one. We're going on this one. So this is Moon Girl Double Dinosaur 2. So Moon Girl Double Dinosaur 2. This is oh 96. 96. Um looking at it. Huh. 96, eh? Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what I gave it a 9.6. I don't see any uh, ticks. I wonder if it's general waviness. So 9.6, this is the uh, the uh, Pascal Campion uh, variant edition. So good book. Moon Girl Double Dinosaur was kind of bad. I mean, that's a, I got that book for pretty cheap. I just thought Moon Girl Double Dinosaur, I thought eh, it might be a banger in the future. I mean, 9.6 is 9.6. Let's see what this one is. So I didn't run the gauntlet, second book in, didn't run the gauntlet. The gauntlet, for anybody who doesn't know, is 25, trying to get all 25 nine eights. So it's pretty hard to do. X-Men, this is 282. This is first Bishop, and a nine six. These are tough nine eights, man. There's there's one little one little tick on it, but are there more than one? Maybe two. That's okay. Nine six, I'll take it. I mean, it's like a five dollar book I got, I picked up, so no big deal. So first bishop, nine six, not a bad deal. Let's see what else we got. This next book, Let's see what this is. Oh, this is. Civil War II, but the Wonder World Comics edition from our boy, uh, Mr. Dennis Barger. And look at that. A little 9-8 action. Nice. This is a uh, version of sketch cover. This is Noto. So look at that. 9-8. Perfect. A little Wonder World at the bottom. So I appreciate it. It came from my haul from uh, Dennis's place, who was a gentleman and a scholar. So I really appreciate it. So cool. That's a that's a cool book. 
We'll see what happens there. Uh, let's see what this is. This is. Ooh. Oh. Star Wars Heir to the Empire number one. 9-0. I, I, I thought it was going to be a 9-0. I thought I did. I, it was a It would have been a, a gift and a prayer if we got a 9-8. So, 9-0. Not terrible. I'll, I'll take it. Not the newsstand, but whatever. I got like three or four of these in the back, so hopefully uh, I can look at the other ones and see. So, not, not too terrible. I mean, Nino, Ugh. but we'll keep it. We'll keep it around. I mean, it was worth a shot. I mean, if you don't take it, you don't take it. So uh, let's see what this one is. We got oh, Tales of GI Joe. Uh, this is a newsstand version. Uh, let me see if my, my camera can focus. This is a newsstand version. Uh, we got nine six. Dang. I'm trying to get 98 on this book. I thought it was a 98 all day. That sucks. It's okay. I was trying to get that 98 on this newsstand. Eh, 96, I'll take it. I'll take it. Ah, disappointed in that one. That's okay. So here we go. Hopefully the rest of this match goes on 98. So let's see what we got here. What's the next one in our Maybe you can return to 9 8 glory in this. Defenders. Ooh. Defenders 3. This is a. Uh, I'm trying to get my camera to focus. So, Defenders number 3. Uh, this is Fearless Defenders number 3. This is actually a ghost hunting article book, uh, 9 8. So. This is a uh, banger of a book. It's so hard to find. Uh, this is, I believe this is, yeah, Phil Jimenez's cover. Uh, really tough book. Really hard to find. Uh, glad I got this in 98. This is huge. This is huge. So, shout out to Stein. Always lots of ghost hunting articles on uh, CBSI and stuff like that. Good good stuff. You know, most some stuff aren't keys, but some of them, if you can find them, they're sneaky. So, Let's see what this one is. This is Doc Afra. This is number one. This is a sketch cover. Boom. Nine eight. Wow. Wow. Big, 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 big boy. I I don't even know what this is going for right now. I I, I when we when we're on flip side, I'll investigate and we'll check out uh, all the numbers and stuff like that. But what a what a great book. Great, great book. Nine eight. Wow. So, here's one of those. We're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten almost halfway. So, hopefully, uh, we got better ones coming through the pipeline. Let's see what this one is. Oof. This is Teen Titans 12, first cover. Uh, Leg told me that they've been judging these a little differently. A lot of them always have like a tick, they just manhandled. Here and there, and what do we get? Nine six. Ugh. Ugh. Nine six. Yep. You know, I thought this one wasn't going to be a nine eight either, and I thought maybe I'll get that good gift grade or that blessing, and I and I didn't, but that's okay. Uh, so nine eight or nine six. Teen Titans twelve. Uh, what a what a great book though. Still solid, man. It's, I mean, I got it for next to nothing when they when he started coming back and opening it out. So. I got these for like next to nothing and I graded it and I'm happy. I'm very happy with this book. Uh, a nine, eight would have been huge. It would have been, um, I think nine, eight or five, 600, I think. So not, not terrible. But, you know, let's see what this one is. I don't know what this one is. So this book, dirty pair, number one, Hughes. We got nine, eight, this is uh, the variant cover by Adam Hughes, 9-8. Book, I'll, I'll, I might keep this book. It's so hard to find, especially I got one in a 9-8 now. I'm definitely going to probably keep this book lying around. So really cool, really epic. That's one of my bangers I was going to keep. If I got a Teen Titans 12 in a 9-8, I probably would have kept that as well. Let's 
see what we got coming up next. We got America. Ooh, this America number two. This is look at this nine eight. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Second printing, Joe uh, Keonis is a uh, cover. 9-8, banger. Cool. I'll take that for sure, too. That was a, uh, that was nice. That's a nice book I got. I found that actually in uh, one of my boxes back here that I just was going through. I'm like, oh, I got one of those books? I can't remember. I must have bought it when it first came out. because I don't remember buying it. It's been years. This is... Look at this, uh, Scarlet Witch, uh, Uncanny Avengers, uh, number one, Granoff, 9-6. So, 9-6 cover. Pretty cool, pretty dope. I got this for, uh, I think I got this actually, I pulled this in um, at uh, Dennis's place too, so. Number one variant. So we'll see what that one rolls out to be. Let's see what it is. I think we're probably halfway through, probably. We got Detective Comics A80. I pulled this out of uh, a collection I bought. So, and we got 96. 96. Tech 880, 96. Hard 98 to, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty, uh, uh, tough on this book when it comes to it, you know, and, it, and it's tough because it's all I got the all black, you know, Green Lantern cover on the back. So, nine six, I'll, I'll definitely take that. I mean, I pulled this one. You know, I'm gonna probably keep this one too, probably. If it was nine eight, I'd definitely keep it because it's so hard to find. But yeah, nine six, Tech A eighty. So we got that one. This is Wolverine one. Um, I, I, I saw this because I got the a lot of. I had a lot of these back in the day. I never picked a newsstand. I still keep the newsstands around. I think I sold them, but we got nine six. So I'm gonna hold. This is a spec book. It's a whole book for now. Um, Wolverine patch number one. You know, this is the first Wolverine this patch. I think this might actually become a uh, a key down the line. You know, for the cheap buy-ins and the cheap grading right now. I think I think it's a good play. I mean, I'd sub a couple more if I had a couple more. So uh, there is a new stain of that one too. We got. Let's see what this one is. I don't even know what this is. So this is. Oh, this is uh, Marvel Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man One. This is a Peterson variant. Nine eight. So cool. Miles Morales book. Uh, Super stoked about this one too. I, I don't see too many of these. So I, I was like, eh, let's grade it and let's see. Low buy-in for this one too. So I bought these uh, when the Miles Morales thing was kind of crazy. I was like, let's see what happens with UF4. And then I bought a couple of Miles Morales ones. I bought this one and I bought another one. So we'll see if the other one's in here too or not. Uh, let's see what we got here. This is... Batgirl 23, Art Germ. We got 9-8. Cool. Cool. Super stoked about this. 9-8. This is my first 9-8 copy. We've had a couple of these when I was uh, with Leg, and I know Leg had one. I think Scott had one. Scotty had one. So I own one now, so that's pretty cool to have in the uh, in the collection. So. This is it's got a keep on. We got Batman Beyond Oof, Fire. Number six. And this is first appearance of Enic in comics and nine six. Nine six. So this is it's another one. Tough, tough, tough nine eight. You get in nine eight, it's it's over. But 9.6, I'll definitely take it. Definitely take it. So, cool book. Cool, cool book. Oh, 
those are hard to find too in, in good condition man they've just been beat up over the years no one really too, cared too much about batman beyond books back in the day at least so they're gonna be harder and harder to come around with this jenny freeze and voltron oh fire we got nine eight wow 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 uh first freezing cover just a banger 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 i i don't know you know devil do is just a hard hard nine eight to get man it really is and he got the all black on the back beautiful book man super stoked about this super stoked i'm gonna i'm gonna hang that one on my wall I'm not, i don't think i'm gonna get rid of it unless somebody pays me some ungodly ungodly amount of money i'll uh, i'm definitely gonna take, keep that one This is God Country. Oh, back on the list. God Country, 9-8, number one. Still a good book to have. I, I think we, I think this is a spec book, good spec book to have. Um, I mean, there's a lot of 9-8s out there probably because of, you know, people were thinking like, oh, this is going to get option and it did. And it just, I, I'm going to hold on to this. This might be one of those preacher books you let go before it goes. And then hopefully you can, um, you can make your money off of it and then you're good to go. We got oh Mark Brooks on King X Men. This is number four. Mark Brooks nine six nine six. This is a tough cover, man. It really is. Mark Brooks, good, great artist, man. Great artist. All this stuff, super, super cool. So I'm glad to have this one too. This is awesome. You know, Psylocke, she she'll get her due one day. You know, with all this stuff, I know. Uh, I know they, they try to do it well. I think if she gets her own movie, it'd be even cooler. I think, uh, you know, it's a good it's a good book. It's a, you know, it's a great variant to have. You know, it came out in um, 2019, a lot of people. I don't know if they slept on this book or I don't see too many hanging around. So, very cool. We got, this is the toughest one. This is. Spider-Man 17, variant edition. Ah, 9-6. 9-6. J.G. Jones. Uh, tough, tough 9-8. These are one of the tougher 9-8s to come around. Uh, very few, I think, on the census. So uh, but cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this one probably too. This is the first one I've got. Unless I can upgrade it somehow and get a 9-8, find a raw, another raw and get one. I'm gonna keep that book. So we got Superior Spider-Man number 17, J.G. Jones variant. Let's see what we got here. America. Jen Bartell, America. This is number eight. We got 9-8. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Tough book, man. Tough book is going to be fire when this comes out. Fire. Super pumped to have this book. Super, super pumped to have this book. So, 9-8, Jim Bartell, America, number eight. Two American books got 9-8s, man. I was, I was worried. I was worried. I didn't know if it was going to happen or not. So, let's see what we got here. This is... This is Miles Morales, Ultimate Spider-Man 2. This is the uh, variant edition. I think Pacelli did this maybe. 9-8. Who did this one? Andy Re or Amy Reader. That's what it was. I thought it was Pacelli. Amy Reader. So this is 9-8. Uh, this is really cool to have. Wow. We'll see what these do. You know, with UF4, like I said, the other one, that was the other one. So I got one and two. So that's very cool to have. Uh, these came out in 2014. So, wow. Let's see what we got in here. This is. Ooh, Monstrous makes an appearance. Uh, not too many people saw this one. Monstrous uh, was a good book, 9 6. Yeah, that's what I thought. There was a big dent that that leg took care of, but, you know, great, great pricing job overall. I got uh, one more book left, so 9 6. Very good. Monstrous number one. 
good spec book to lay down. You know, I see a lot of people, uh, you know, seven books. Um, so hopefully everybody's turnaround time gets better. I know they just sent out an email about it. Um, so we'll see if that happens. Star Wars. This is Darth Vader in the Ninth Assassin. This is the uh, Diamond Retailer Summit Edition 9-8. Wow, wow, wow. I've never even seen this book before. Retail or summer. This is back in 2013. This is a banger. I I don't even know what the value is at. So this is probably one of the craziest Star Wars books I've ever seen. Uh, just a sketch cover. This is uh, Stephen Thompson actually did the cover, and you can see down here uh, just 2013 Retail or Summit. Wow. And those are the books, man. I um. I had a couple of Raws, so I'm, I'm overall, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. I got a lot of great slabs. I can do a lot of stuff with them. I'm going to keep a bunch of them, and uh, we'll see later on what happens. Um, hopefully, my spec picks turned out decently. Um, and in some of my PCs, like the Voltron book and you know some, uh, some of these other books, hopefully we can uh, do some things. So, as always, check it out. Tales from the flip side. <laughs>